Let us talk about digital distribution, piracy, and externalities. Okay, that sounds interesting. According to ArsTechnica.com, a popular online tech site, 83% of people have illegally downloaded copyrighted material on the internet at one point or another. Everyone knows about piracy, but not everyone understands how the economics of digital piracy works. You may be surprised. You don't even have to download a single song to be affected by its economics. Wow. I did not know that is how you think about things. Can you define things for me? Now, we may not all be in a hurry to enter our credit card numbers into iTunes so that we can download the latest single from Katy Perry, or whichever other derivative crap is topping the charts the week. We like to believe that we are the free-thinking types who don't need to bow down to the social norm of downloading music quickly, legally, and safely on the internet. We like to believe that we are putting a stop to horrible music by consciously not purchasing it. Too bad everyone else is downloading that junk, because despite our most concerted efforts, we aren't changing anything, but systematically making our time on the internet less fun, and scarier. Pirates and people with credit cards both affect each other through externalities. An externality is a cost or benefit not transmitted through price. They enact a social benefit or cost to society without the producer or purchaser doing any extra work within the transaction. There are two types of externality. 1. A negative externality, which results in a negative cost to society. An example is a coal plant. The plant provides power to its customers, but at the same time creates pollution, a social cost. Negative externalities make people sad. Number 2. 2. Positive externalities benefit third parties. Beekeeping is an excellent example. The beekeeper farms bees for their honey, but through this process the bees also pollinate flowers. This behavior is at no addition cost to be beekeeper, so this is seen as having a positive effect on society. I see. Now, how positive externalities relate? How do externalities relate to digital piracy? I, if you were paying attention, you may have realized that piracy can actually be categorized as a positive externality. People who download music on the internet can very easily opt to get that music for free. Twenty years ago, it was harder to pirate media, the process was much more involved. You would have to break out the tape recorder and individually cut every single track onto a blank cassette or you would have to program your $200 VCR to record the football game onto a VHS tape without the written consent of the NFL and CBS. Since the late 90s, online pirates have copied their CD and movie collections to their hard drives and uploaded and shared them through programs like Napster and BitTorrent. These days, the internet facilitates how we consume our media, and because of this technology we see people sharing pirated copyrighted content, almost seamlessly. This ease of access has created a clear positive externality for digital distribution. How negative externalities relate can. But wait, what about negative externalities? Well, unluckily for us, there are tons of negative externalities related to digital media distribution. These negative externalities are manifested in the entertainment industry's response to pirates. They are manifested in piracy countermeasures which content producers build into their products. While they sort of work, they ultimately become the ire of people who actually purchase their music and end up hurting customer-producer relations. Technologies such as DRM and other proprietary technology lock down your paid for content but that isn't all. Anti-piracy legislation such as SOPA and CISPAR, lobbied by the entertainment industry on Capitol Hill to stop piracy seem only to encroach on personal freedoms and privacy. Conclusion. 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 No business wants to produce a product which can be reproduced and distributed by a third party for no cost. Unfortunately for the record companies, that is the nature of digital media. Their worldwide storefront has created both positive and negative externalities which benefit some but at a great and pervasive social cost. There you have it. Because piracy is so easy and accessible, we all lose our privacy. We can thank externalities, how we sometimes benefit from the economy, but are mostly marginalized. Spring 2012